Hi, how are you? Wonderful weather we're having, aren't we? Hi, how are you? So in case you guys didn't know, in addition to being somebody who makes a lot of videos and is a singer, I'm also a songwriter and a music arranger. Uh, and a lot of what I do is done primarily a cappella. And I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of my process behind that. Uh, about I use for my software, for my recording software, GarageBand, which can be found on any sort of uh, Mac device. For PC users, uh, I would recommend Audacity as something very simple and easy for you to use. Uh, but there are also other programs like a free trial version of Pro Tools, there's Reaper. I'll include a link down below to some of the free software that you could try out. In addition to that, I also use a USB microphone. This is a Yeti stereo microphone from Blue Microphones. You can find it basically on any online retailer that sells microphone equipment. Disclaimer, I don't read music very well. A lot of it is done by ear. A lot of me just trying to figure out what's going to happen. So you and I are going to sort of figure this out and go on this journey together of, of being in the process of me sitting through and listening as I, as I write. You don't have to follow this. This isn't the end-all be-all way to arrange music. This is just how I do stuff and I think it's a cool way for people who are maybe beginners just starting out trying to dip their toes into the large pool of arranging a cappella. This is one way that they could try and do it. And I'm just going to offer some of my two cents about how I go about doing things. But again, it's all up to you about what ends up being your one true style of how you arrange. Because that's, I think, really cool about acapella, is that there's no one way to sort of figure out how to do this arranging stuff and present an arrangement. It's awesome. With that said, we're gonna, we're gonna dive in, yeah. All right, as you can probably see, I have uh, my GarageBand uh, file divided up by tracks. And they're all divided up by voice parts. Since this is an all-male arrangement, the cappella is an all-male group, uh, it's divided only by bass, baritone, and tenor. Um, some of the higher parts up here, uh, I would actually switch out for alto, mezzo-soprano, and soprano uh, if I was arranging for a mixed group, or if I was arranging for an all-female group, I would just do alto and soprano. Down at the bottom, I usually do bass and vocal percussion together, and that's usually the stuff that I start with. I start tracking the percussion and the bass to get the rhythm first and make sure that I have the rhythm intact and then start layering up from the from the bottom up. So I'll start with bass percussion first and then go baritone, tenor, or tenor one. But this can change from time to time. I can figure out different ways of approaching an arrangement. Sometimes an idea for a tenor one line will come faster than a baritone line. In your preferences folder, you have inputs and output devices. Now, your input device is any sort of thing that you're plugging into your computer when you're recording, like a microphone. Your output device is whatever you're listening to the music for, be it through your headphones or the speakers of your computer computer. Let's talk about key and tempo. The tempo in the GarageBand track is up here. It's usually up in the center and it's got a number on it. And it's very clear to see. It sort of dictates how fast the song is going. Simple as that. The time signature that you're working in, uh, like it generally, it generally counts out the beats for you. 4-4 four, four is common times, and the metronome will sort of count out 1, 2, 3, 4 for you. G major, that is the key that we are in for this song. Right now, I have about a verse and a chorus of this, uh, of this song planned out so far. I generally go section by section, so if there's a section that I don't like, uh, I can remove it, I can replace it, I can do whatever I want with it which is the, I think, the coolest thing about working uh, non-linearly in GarageBand. Glorious, glorious, I feel glorious, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Glorious, glorious, I feel glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Move 
moving on to the second verse, and we're just going to wing it. I'm going to let the bass and perk sort of take hold and sort of be the driving force behind everything. And then certain little moments happen between the tenors and the baritones. The artist sort of just gives you an incentive to allow one of your sections to sort of just do the recall and response thing. It's so little material, but it, it says so much about the song itself and, and how the song is constructed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yes, it is. Been going it. DeLorean, yeah, we went. Oh, that sounds so good. The tenor, tenor two line is going to be like uh, a melodic drone. Yeah. I'll do this multiple times. I'll try it many, many different ways until I figure out finally like the kind of sound and the kind of shape that I want the voice sections to take. Sometimes this takes a few minutes. Sometimes it takes much, much longer, but I eventually get there. Could be cool. Don't quote me on it. Actually, I think it could be cool. Quote me on it because I think it could be cool, but you never know. <laughs> oh God, who you are to the stars. Oh, I think that might work. We'll see. And then there's this section where everybody's going, whoa, it's really cool. Oh, 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 oh. I did it in the first the first time that that happened, uh, so I'm just gonna sort of semi copy that and then semi add new new textures and layers into it because every single song that you hear is a miniature story. Uh, it has a it has a act one, act two, act three. Verse one, verse two, verse three, uh, and generally the choruses are the stop and reflection points. They're like the, they're like the uh, act breaks in a screenplay, if you will. When you have these melodic motifs come back around, you want to maybe change them up a little bit, make them different, make it seem like the character and the ensemble that is reflecting the character is growing and changing. I hope you're somewhere praying. Praying, I hope your soul is changing, changing. I hope you find your peace falling on your knees. Praying, I hope you're somewhere. have to go into it being like, what is the heart of this song? What is the heart of this lyric? And from there, once you delve into it a little bit more, it becomes a lot more personal for the person singing it and the ensemble that's singing it because they're all uh, instruments that are critical to the telling of this story. Without them, the story's nothing. You have to think, okay, how is this section going to help move the story along better?
Thank you so much for watching this video. It is the first in a series of videos that I plan on doing that documents the process of songwriting, arranging, filmmaking, whatever I plan on doing. I plan on doing a lot, hopefully. I want to make an album. I want to make more short films and skits, and uh, you guys will be the first to see my process behind all of that. If you like what you saw, make sure to like down below, comment on anything that you liked about this video or anything that you think that might needs improving and yeah consider subscribing if you liked this video and you want to see more from this channel and uh, that'll do it for me and now we're just going to uh, cut to black